So the patients are here yet. Um, so the medic calls and says they're about two miles out, and it's a male child, estimated five years, severe head wound sustained with an IED. Uh, he has extensive facial trauma and unresponsive in the field. He attempted, they attempted to put IV, but was unsuccessful. So no access currently. Uh, he is being bagged by adult face masks. And the vitals are on the, on the wall there, but um, it's 55 on the heart rate, respiratory, respiratory rate of 45, and blood pressure is 80 over 50. <clears throat> so it's a size 5, but for this patient, it's too big for this mannequin, so use it's a 4-0. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, mass, uh, mm -hmm. mass for the patient. Is Charlie here? Yeah, here? No, the child is here. Okay. 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 Uh, uh, coughing and grasping for air. His respiratory is about 45. He's not bleeding excessively on all uh, external hemorrhage. And those of whatever was bleeding before has been contained. So simulate you have the entire CO2 and you're able to detect the uh, uh, entire CO2. Uh, you the <laughs> okay. uh, bottom bottom Weighs about 20 kilos. 20 kilos, okay. Here. How long is the test sex, right? No, no. What did you say? What it's am I doing? <laughs> How are his pupils? Uh, his pupils are um, right now equal and um, um, sluggish. Equal and sluggish? Yeah. Let's elevate the head of the bed to 30. Sounds good. All right, establishing the axis. That kind of just And then, as far as circulation, am I feeling pulses anywhere? Um, it's very weak. Very weak. And breath sounds? Breath sounds, yeah, equal. Um, uh, and um, good chest rights. Right. Do we have new vitals? Uh, the, no vitals, yet. Mm -hmm. it's still the same. Yeah. But that's a good point. Um, so, um, the scenario has like uh, you have multiple uh, lower extremity fractures. So, uh, when that's a concern, you probably don't want to put the IO on yeah. the lower extremity. Did we get the blood and the FRP? Uh, it's still being prepared, but there's an O negative um, available. Okay. 
So the heart rate, uh, he becomes tachycardic. Tachycardic, okay. Yeah, uh, he's like 150, he's 140, he's So one IV is already in place. Okay. So you get an IV you access. Well, we're waiting for the blood. We <coughs> can start noticing. Okay, how much do you want? going to do for 20 per kilo, so that means 2,400. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's going to be going. And can we get a, are we at a hospital? No, you are. Okay. Okay. What other So, with the fluid bolus, your heart rate uh, improves to 80, setting 90 percent. Okay. Let's go ahead and call for some antibiotics. Okay. What do you want? Um. So while you're um, waiting for the blood and while they're preparing the antibiotics, um, his respiratory rate, because um, he's still breathing uh, spontaneously, uh, but he's, he became, um, uh, respiratory rate is less than 10. Um, they diminish uh, in chest rise and fall despite the bagging. Um, <coughs> his heart rate uh, dropped to less than 50. And his blood pressure rose to greater than 140 systolic. Still, your pills are now fixed um, and un non reactive. Citing 86%. The one that's up there is.